The Fury of the Ocean. Top 10 Deadliest Tsunamis. Tsunamis are nature's fiercest and most terrifying forces. In just minutes, they can erase entire cities and cause unimaginable destruction. Today, we're going to take you through the top 10 deadliest tsunamis of all time. So let's dive in, starting with number 10. The Aegean Sea, a cradle of civilization, a place where myths were born from the foam of crashing waves. But on July 9, 1956, paradise was shattered. An earthquake ripped through the seabed near the Cyclades Islands. A tsunami, a series of monstrous waves rose from the depths. The idyllic islands of Amorgos and Santorini were struck with unrelenting force. Waves some reaching 25 meters high crashed ashore. Fishing boats were tossed about like toys. Homes, businesses, entire lives were swept away in an instant. Over 50 souls were lost to the Aegean's fury that day. Japan, a land of exquisite beauty, sculpted by the raw power of nature. On October 28, 1707, the island nation faced one of its fiercest trials. A monstrous earthquake measuring 8.6 on the Richter scale ripped through the ocean floor near Honshu. The earth buckled and heaved, buildings crumbled, but the worst was yet to come. The sea, disturbed from its ancient slumber, rose up in fury. A tsunami, a series of colossal waves, surged towards the coast. Over 29,000 homes were reduced to rubble. Entire villages were wiped from existence. The death toll reached 30,000. Mount Fuji, dormant for centuries, rumbled to life just 49 days later. The Hoei eruption rained ash and fire upon a land already brought to its knees. The Straits of Messina, a narrow passage separating mainland Italy from the island of Sicily, is known for its strategic importance and natural beauty. But on December 28, 1908, this bustling waterway transformed into a scene of unimaginable horror forever altering the lives of those who lived there. Just after 5 a.m. as the city was still in slumber, the ground began to tremble violently. A massive earthquake, registering 7.1 on the Richter scale, tore through the region. Buildings swayed, then crumbled into heaps of rubble. The earthquake had ripped through the seabed, unleashing the ocean's wrath and setting off a catastrophic chain of events. A tsunami, a series of monstrous waves, surged through the Straits of Messina, gaining momentum and height as it approached the shore. The waves slammed into the coasts of Sicily and mainland Italy with terrifying force. Messina was virtually obliterated, its streets and buildings reduced to ruins. The water, receding back into the sea, carried with it the shattered remnants of homes, belongings and lives, leaving behind a landscape of desolation. Over 100,000 souls perished in the blink of an eye marking one of the deadliest natural disasters in European history. The Sunda Strait, a vital waterway in the Indonesian archipelago. But in 1883 this tropical paradise became synonymous with one of the most cataclysmic events in human history. Krakatoa, a volcanic island, held a fiery secret within its depths. On August 27, 1883, the earth shuddered, and Krakatoa awoke from its slumber. The eruption, a series of explosions heard thousands of miles away, ripped the island apart. The force of the eruption triggered a series of tsunamis. Waves, some towering over 40 meters high, raced across the Sunda Strait. Coastal villages were wiped from existence in an instant. The Krakatoa tsunami claimed over 36,000 lives. Lisbon, the vibrant capital of Portugal, basked in the golden light of a crisp All Saints Day morning. It was November 1, 1755, and the city's faithful were gathered in churches. At 9.40 a.m., the earth lurched violently. The Great Lisbon Earthquake, as it would come to be known, was a cataclysm of unimaginable proportions. Buildings swayed, then crumbled. The quake, estimated to be between 8.5 and 9.0 on the Richter scale, ripped through the city. The earthquake had disturbed the ocean floor, unleashing a series of monstrous waves. Within minutes, a tsunami, a wall of water over 20 meters high, crashed into the harbor. The tsunami surged inland, swallowing entire neighborhoods. The Lisbon tsunami claimed tens of thousands of lives. The year is 1498. Japan, a land of emperors and shoguns, is in the midst of the Muromachi period. On September 20th, the Enshunata Sea unleashed its fury. An earthquake, a monstrous tremor deep beneath the waves, ripped through the ocean floor. The quake, 
estimated to be a magnitude 8.3, sent shockwaves across the region. A tsunami, a series of colossal waves rose from the depths. The waves slammed into the key peninsula and Suruga Bay. Entire villages were swept away in an instant. The tsunami's reach extended far inland, inundating rice paddies and tearing down homes. The Enshunada Sea Tsunami claimed over 31,000 lives. The Pacific Ocean, vast and seemingly endless, holds within its depths the power to both nurture and destroy. On August 13, 1868, this duality was on full display off the coast of South America. Arica, a bustling port city in what was then southern Peru, was about to face the ocean's wrath. It began with a tremor, a deep rumble that shook the earth. The earthquake, a monstrous 8.5 on the Richter scale, ripped through the seabed. A tsunami, a series of colossal waves rose from the depths. The waves slammed into Arica with terrifying force. Ships were tossed about like toys, some carried far inland by the surge. The Arica tsunami reshaped the coastline and left behind a scene of utter devastation. The Indian Ocean, a vast expanse of water teeming with life, turned traitor on December 26, 2004. This serene body of water, known for its beauty and biodiversity, suddenly became a source of unimaginable destruction. It began subtly, a tremor felt across the region. People went about their day, unaware that this was just the beginning of a catastrophic event. Off the coast of Sumatra, Indonesia, the Earth's tectonic plates ground against each other with unimaginable force. This seismic activity was the precursor to one of the deadliest natural disasters in recorded history. The quake, registering a staggering 9.1 to 9.3 on the Richter scale, ripped through the ocean floor. The sheer power of this earthquake was enough to alter the geography of the ocean bed. A tsunami, a series of colossal waves, taller than a 10-story building, surged across the Indian Ocean. These waves traveled at the speed of a jetliner, giving little to no warning to those in their path. Indonesia, Thailand, Sri Lanka, India, 14 countries in all felt the tsunami's wrath. The devastation was widespread, affecting millions of lives across these nations. Coastal communities were wiped off the map, tourist havens transformed into disaster zones. The once bustling beaches and resorts were now scenes of utter devastation and despair. The world watched in horror as the death toll climbed, eventually reaching a staggering 230,000. Rescue teams from around the globe rushed to aid the affected regions, but the scale of the disaster was overwhelming. The Indian Ocean tsunami became a global tragedy. It united the world in grief and in efforts to help those who had lost everything, reminding us all of the power and unpredictability of nature. Japan, a nation forged in resilience, faced its greatest challenge on March 11, 2011. It began with a tremor, a familiar rumble. Off the northeast coast, the Earth's crust shifted violently, unleashing a monstrous 9.0 magnitude earthquake. Buildings swayed, alarms blared, but the worst was yet to come. The Tohoku earthquake had ripped through the ocean floor, displacing trillions of gallons of water. A tsunami, a series of colossal waves, surged towards the Japanese coastline. The tsunami's impact was devastating. Cars, homes, even buildings were tossed about like toys. The Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant suffered a meltdown. The Tohoku tsunami claimed over 18,000 lives. Our journey through the deadliest tsunamis brings us back to the event that shocked the world on December 26, 2004, the Boxing Day tsunami. This catastrophic event left an indelible mark on the history of natural disasters. The Indian Ocean, a source of life and tranquility for millions, transformed into a raging beast. Its serene waters turned into a force of unimaginable destruction. It began with a tremor, a deep rumble that spread across the region. The ground shook violently, signaling the start of a disaster that would span multiple countries. Off the coast of Sumatra, Indonesia, the Earth's tectonic plates had collided, generating an earthquake of unimaginable power. This seismic event was the catalyst for the ensuing chaos. The energy released was equivalent to millions of atomic bombs detonating simultaneously. The sheer magnitude of this energy release was beyond comprehension. The ocean floor buckled and heaved, creating a series of colossal waves. These waves traveled at incredible speeds, heading towards unsuspecting coastlines. Indonesia, Thailand, Sri Lanka, India, 14 countries in all, felt the tsunami's wrath. 
the devastation was widespread affecting millions of lives. Coastal communities were wiped off the map, tourist havens transformed into disaster zones, the scale of destruction was unprecedented, leaving behind a trail of ruin. The Boxing Day tsunami claimed a staggering 230,000 lives. The world mourned as the true extent of the tragedy became clear, and the resilience of the affected communities was put to the ultimate test. The tsunamis we've explored stand as chilling reminders of the immense power that lies dormant beneath the surface of our planet. These events have reshaped coastlines, shattered lives, and left behind scars that run deep. But amidst the devastation there are also stories of resilience, of communities rebuilding, of hope emerging from the ruins. As we move forward, it's crucial to remember the lessons learned from these catastrophic events. For in understanding the forces that shape our world, we can better prepare for the challenges that lie ahead.